Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay here. Today I, we are going to go over quite a cool scenario that I think uh, happens quite regularly in in business. Well, I've certainly I've seen, it, seen it in businesses that I've uh, worked in and, and with. So here's, here is the scenario, I'll lay it out. So you you have uh, you're making sales all the time and you've got your budgets, you've set your budgets, but what if you're behind budget? You want to know, you want to know really quickly, or you would want to know, how are we going to get to budget? So you'd be in a situation where you might be three quarters of the way through the year and you're trailing behind budget and you can see that, say, cumulatively like so. You know, we've been trailing behind budget all year. But we want to know, well, what do we need to do to actually then get to budget? How many things do we need to sell? Uh, and this is a great way to start conversations with your sales teams, uh, your regional managers, and so on and so forth. And also from a marketing perspective, maybe you want to do some discounting on this particular product or um, uh, products that you sell um, in, in those areas, so on and so forth. You might want to get your demand up, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the type of analysis that you can really quickly see on a real-time, almost real-time basis, depending on how you set this up, what you need to sell to make up that gap. So what I've got here, I've got this page here just to show you visually uh, what, uh, what I mean by you know, tracking versus budget. So this is covered in some other videos that in, on Enterprise DNA TV um, on, the, on the channel. But really this is just actuals cumulatively versus budget, budget is, budgets cumulatively as well. So there's a bit in regards to setting it up. Um, these are all the measures that are utilized um, to do that. But this is covered in another video. What I want to show you is how you can extend this, how you can go even further to dive into some analysis. Uh, that might extract some really good insight. Okay, so then we come over to this piece of analysis here. We, we, we want to evaluate, well, what do we need to sell to make a budget? And so what I've got here is I've got, uh, for each different city, I've got the total sales we have made and then the budget allocation for that particular city, so the budget for that city. And then I've got what our sales were versus budget. So we can really quickly see all the negatives here. All the, all the negatives are... Um, are the ones um, let me just let me just sort out this formatting all the negatives here are the ones that are behind budget obviously and so what we need to do is really quickly see well okay so we're behind budget this much we've got to this number by going total sales minus the budget allocation okay well how much do we need to sell in this particular region to actually make budget now we have to make a few assumptions here, um, but this could be extended in a number of different ways. I've just made um, some assumptions uh, to simplify it a little bit. But what we wanna do here is we wanna work out, okay, well, how much do we need to sell, right? And so if we, uh, if we just think logically what we need there, we need to use this number, all these negative numbers, and we need to divide it by, let's say the average sale price of anything sold in these regions. That will probably do it for us. It's an approximate, but it will probably get us to where we want. And then via that, so if you check out this number here, so I've gone, if the sales versus budgets is less than zero, then we want to go sales versus budgets. We times it by minus one just to get it to a positive number, and then divide it by the average sale price within that particular region. And then what that's going to do is it's going to tell us how many products on average we need to sell in that particular region. Now that's and, and to, to just get us to budget. So say for instance uh, you, you, this was on real data and you saw a cluster of um, a cluster of stores for example that were under budget well then this is a really quick way to go and evaluate well we, if we want to even get close to budget for these stores we need to go and sell this many things. Um, and, uh, and amongst that, what you could do uh, to extend this even more, I haven't done it in this case, but to extend this even more, what you could do is you could go and look at the average for a particular store. You could go and look at the average breakdowns of products sold in that store, right? And then you could then go and evaluate, well, okay, if we um, discounted some uh, products here and increased our demand here, then we would then get those, uh, those store sales that we require. So these are the sort of insights that you can then take it to um, with, with, with this sort of analysis. 
Okay, so I just wanted to show you how you could uh, how you could create this analysis in this case, or at least get to this get to this step. Um, and, you know, even even this is um, you know this is dynamic, obviously. So you can click into whatever cities, uh, whatever cities you like, and then see. Well, these ones are over budgets. These are under budgets. Okay, we need to sell seventy eight um, additional products in this store on uh, at an average price of uh, sold on, uh, of whatever. Um, so. Um, so really quickly can get that to that insight, which is seriously, seriously awesome. Um, and I also checked this in here because this is another good way to really quickly evaluate. Well, um, you know which 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 cities are over, under budget, which cities are under budget, and you can see how that has tracked over time as well. Okay, so as always, this uh, this resource will be made available through the Enterprise DNA Training Portal. The details for that are below in the description. Uh, all you've got to do is enroll, and then you get access to this and uh, many other many other resources to um, you know to for you to explore and um, and see how you can really utilize Power BI to its fullest.